Catholics organized into the National Catholic War Council because their needs were not being addressed um, as soldiers. There were famously intelligence tests at the time. Many of the people who took these intelligence tests as they entered the army, the military, um, did not do well on the tests, but it was usually because they spoke a different language than the test was administered. So there was a, a widespread um, feeling that Catholics were unintelligent, that they couldn't function properly in an American military, that they would not be loyal Americans. And the National Catholic War Council emerged to address these issues and to provide services to these Catholics in the war. There were more and more Catholics in the armed forces and they needed to be part of that effort in order to protect the uh, moral welfare of those troops. I think the war was really much more important to Catholics in some ways in being able to uh, show to uh, themselves as well as the rest of the country, anybody who's paying attention, that they could be devout Catholics but also uh, loyal patriots of the United States and I think their motto of uh, For God and Country epitomized that. American concepts of the freedom and the values of the Catholic Church were not irreconcilable, that they could uh, work together. What happened after the war is uh, the National Catholic War Council evolved into the National Catholic Welfare Conference, which is the organized bishops of the United States, which is today the USCCB, okay? It's evolved, but it's the same institution. So this early organizing among Catholics really extended throughout the century and set up a, the professionalization of these institutions and their services to the laity and other religious folks in the United States. There's definitely an increasing desire to continue the apparent successes of the War Council era and to advance a Catholic agenda in a variety of different levels, whether it's at the bishop's level or whether it's with various lay organizations. There would probably not be a bishop's conference, a USCCB today as we know it, without that initial organizing activity. It could have been um, organized later on possibly, but the origins of the USCCB as we know it today are in 1917 and the um, birth of the War Council. They're directly related to each other.